It's been a very tough 12 months, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and the sexting story uh, it is something of a tabloid construct, if, if I'm to be honest well, about you, it. You, but you did send sexually explicit messages to a 17 year old. Well, I'm not, I'm not denying that. I've, well, I, then I've, it's not a tabloid construct. Well, it, it is in how it's put together. Uh, so the idea that she came to me inquiring about a job just isn't true. Uh, the idea that it, you know, that it went on and for a long time and that I bombarded her with messages of a sexual nature just isn't true. Out of the thousands of exchanges and words that occurred, uh, she sent the vast majority of uh, sexual messages. I must have sent about six words uh, that were of a sexual nature over several months mm. uh, so the reality is that you know is the, that all right then no it isn't all right and I've apologized for that mm. and I've said it's something that I shouldn't have done it occurred uh, when, when when I were in a very dark place soon after I'd broken up with my uh, second wife uh, I were drinking uh, on the evenings that it occurred and I shouldn't have done it and I've apologized for that mm. um, I mean if the, if, the, if the Labour Party do end up suspending you what will you do well, they've suspended me now. They oh, sorry, were, not yeah. suspending yes. you. I, I mean expelling you, yes. I beg your pardon. They, you, you are suspended. If they come to the conclusion that you should be expelled from well, the party... Well, I think they'll find it difficult to do that, to be honest. Uh, because Why? Well, because I haven't broken the law. Uh, the situation isn't as it first appeared in the newspapers, as I've just described. It's a much more complicated situation. Mm -hmm. I think they can only conclude uh, that I haven't done anything uh, uh, wrong and, and that I should be allowed to stay within the Labour Party. Mm.